guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make my no-bake chocolate cheesecake. It's super duper good. So in my mixing bowl I have two 8 ounce containers of cream cheese at room temperature. I'll place it in. This cheesecake is really good. Not to mention it's chocolate. To this I'll add in three-fourths cup of sugar to one teaspoon of vanilla extract to a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder and you'll mix this until it's smooth. So I'm using my paddle attachment. I'm also using a ready-made graham cracker crust or you can make your own. I'll scrape down my sides. I want to make sure it's really mixed good. This no-bake cheesecake is super duper good. Great for holidays too. Now I'll turn my mixer off. Oh, got some cocoa powder on there. Didn't even see it. Now I'll scrape off my paddle attachment. Look at how good that looks. I'll place it in my bowl. So now that my cream cheese mixture is mixed smoothly, I'll take one quart of the heavy whipping cream and I'll whip this until it forms a stiff peak. Once it forms a stiff peak, then I'll add in the cream cheese with the whipped cream. And that's it for this cake. Now I'll check on it. No, a few more minutes. Now I'll turn my mixer off. Perfect. See, nice stiff peaks. Move this off to the side. 
Now I'll take my cream cheese mixture and fold it into my whipped cream. I'll do a little at a time. Once it's all mixed good, I'll place it in my graham cracker crust, put it in my fridge until it firms up. This is really good. See how quick and easy this was to make a chocolate cheesecake? I'll put the rest in. Now I'll scrape my sides, make sure it's mixed in good. So now I'll place it in my graham cracker crust. Spread it around the crust so that it's all even. Now didn't that come out great? And see how quick and easy and simple this was to make a no-bake chocolate cheesecake? So now I'll place it in my fridge for a couple hours or until it's nice and firm and then I'll slice it. Doesn't it look good? It's tempting. Now my chocolate cheesecake's been in the fridge for about an hour and a half. So now I'll be taking it over to my neighbor's house. I'll slice it and I'll show you how good this looks. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. It really means a lot to me. Please follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and hit the like button, and especially iFood.tv. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <music>